Okay, so we approach start time here for the running of race number two, the Bardi Organic Beef Handicap. Field of seven, the late scratching number three, next stop the moon. In race book order, number one, Road Rager at $12 fixed. Number two, Kakadu, your favourite, three sixty. Scratch the three, number four, Nicholas at $5.50. It's had quite a bit of support, Nicholas. Night Tempest, number five is at $4.40 fixed. Number six, Jake Star, eight fifty, and four forty about Prozone sixteen for Romasco as they commence the loading process. So Nicholas and Kakadu locked away. Here comes Romasco into line. Prozone with the barrier blanket to come forward. Road Rager now joins the line. So still a couple to come forward. Night Tempest coming off that last start. Second, narrow defeat. And Jake Star out of line as well. Thanks, Alex. As Night Tempest comes forward, and we're just left with Jake Star to complete the line. Favoritism with the last start winner, Kakadu, but $3.90 in an open affair. The second from Kalgoorlie, the Barty Organic Beef. Stand by, 1,400 metres, the distance. Red lights blink away. One just tried to anticipate the start out wide. There we go, signal from behind, and the gates fly back from the 1,400. Good even dispatch it was as well. With early speed, pushing forward, Prozone, likewise Night Tempest. There goes Ramasco, burning through on the fence. They were being followed next of all by Nicholas, and then Kakadu, who gets into a handy position down on the fence behind the leading duo. They were followed a further four lengths then to Jake Starr, who settles down second last in front of the Chestnut Road Rager. A thousand metres to run in the back straight, and it's Ramasco who took it up. Leads out by three quarters of a length on Prozone, who takes a sit today. They were followed by Kakadu, third the fence. Then came a length and a half to Nicholas, followed next of all by Night Tempest around the outside, second last Road Rager and Jake Star last of all. So with 700 metres to run, they go onto the Charles Street side of the course. It's Romasco, leads out by a neat length. Running second, the outside Pro Zone. Night Tempest working around the outside and then came Kakadu down on the inside, who's got all the favours so far. They were followed a further two to Nicholas in the centre. The outside of those, Jake Star and down on the inside Road Rager. So with 400 metres to run. On the point of the turn, it's Ramasco who brings them into the straight. Leads out by a length. Pro zone asked for now. There goes Kakadu coming through between runners. Look at Jake Star down the outside. Jake Star hit the lead quickly with a furlong to run. Trying to match it. Pro zone. Ramasco the fence. And here's Kakadu late coming through. It's Jake Star in front. Coming at it. Pro zone. Jake Star trying to hold on. They hit it. Oh, I think Jake Star. Jake Star a half head perhaps in front of Pro zone second. We'll leave it to the judge. Then came Kakadu third. They were followed in by Knight, Tempest, Nicholas, Ramasco, and last in was Road Rager. Well, Jake Star. We knew the horse could do it, and he's done it today. Gets the head down on the line. Number six, Jake Star goes into the frame. And... Uh, by oh, geez, he improved quickly. He loomed large and then he almost peaked at about the 50 and gave Prozone a chance to reel him in. But he's held on for a well-deserved victory here. And the uh, Bunbury boys that are calling Kalgoorlie home at the moment, Brett Jury and Phil Naylor, are having a good day of it at the KBRC, taking out the first two events on the card. Number six, Jake Star. Have a look at the replay here. Just really let down nicely down the outside. Hit the lead. And uh, then Prozone's picked up again and tried to reel him in. But uh, it'll be the six that holds on. Number six, Jake Star for Brett Jury and Kate Witten. The margin a short half head. Jake Star.
by Universal Ruler from Jake's sister, owned by J. Drury, P. Blackburn, J. Blackburn, Miss D. Simmons, Miss H. Blackburn and K. Blackburn. Jake Star brings up win number four at start 25 and is back to form as he comes back into the enclosure now with Kate Witten aboard. A good ride there by Kate to get this five-year-old home. Second in the seven, Pro Zone for Nick Carapalotti and Fiona Bell. Seven-year-old Pro Art Gelding from Dark Horizon. Owned by Jay Robbins, Miss M. Dawes and Miss P. O. Sullivan. Third in the two, Kakadu for Gary Bowen. And uh, Hannah Fitzgerald by Galar from Liberty Isle. Owned by Gary and Brad Bowen. And fourth in the eight in Ramasco for Michelle Blanky and Angie Johnson. Six, seven, two and eight. Short half head by a length 124.55, the winning gallop for race number two. Race three is the Mount Vetter's Handicap, 1,600 metres, five minutes past three, the start time, a field of eight to face the starter. Good little race coming up. Your early favourite is There's a Chance for Nick Carapalotti and Fiona Bell. And just having a quick look at the market for race number three, There's a Chance. Earlier on today, 260 and is currently at 245. So a little bit of support, early support there for there's a chance. Little cess on the second line of betting. That's race three, which comes up at five minutes past three.